Hi guys, this is Daryl, and welcome back to Sci-Fi Odyssey. Today we're diving into the realm of future history within the sci-fi genre, and bringing you six books you need to read. For those new to the term, future history is a subgenre of science fiction that constructs a possible chronology of the future, as if it were history, within a detailed and plausible explanation of how that future developed from the present. Sci-fi writer Kim Stanley Robertson explains it this way. Space opera is basically fantasy in the far future. Near future sci-fi, some trends extrapolated in the near future, but really more about the present zeitgeist. Future history is the middle ground. It takes place in the future, but gives a good sense of the events that led to that future. It's an attempt to predict history. Within their stories, future histories craft a believable timeline of events. The problem with future histories is that given enough time, the timeline of events will be overtaken by real historical events, turning them into alternate histories once overtaken. But we're focusing on future histories as they were intended to be. Let's kick off with the first on the list, and that's The Past Through Tomorrow by Robert A. Heinlein. Published in 1967, this collection is a cornerstone of the future history subgenre, offering a series of stories that build upon each other to shape a future spanning centuries. The works encapsulate Heinlein's future history series, which begins in the near future and extends to the 23rd century. Heinlein's work stands out for its methodical world-building and insightful predictions. He constructs a vision of the future that is both grounded in the political and cultural tremors of his time, and expansive in its anticipation of humanity's adaptive ingenuity. From the social reforms of the 20th century to space colonisation in the far future, Heinlein crafts a tapestry of progress, conflict, and the resilience that is as compelling as it is contemplative. Heinlein's tales traverse the epochs of his timeline, from the era of the crazy years, a time reminiscent of the roaring twenties but fraught with a sense of impending chaos, to the establishment of the first galactic empire, where humanity has not only settled on other worlds, but also established a vast interstellar civilization. Published during the Cold War, a period rife with both fear and hope for the future, Heinlein's narratives resonated deeply with readers, offering a window into the possibilities of what may come. The Past Through Tomorrow is more than just a selection of stories. It's a journey through the potential of human civilization. Next, we have The Last and First Men, by Olaf Stapledon. First published in 1930, this ambitious novel presents an expanse of the history of humanity from the near future to two billion years ahead. With an extraordinary sweep of imagination, Stapledon charts the rise and fall of 18 distinct human species, each evolving from the last, over the course of our planet's vast future. It's a profound narrative that examines human evolution and the impact of our actions on a cosmic scale. The journey begins in the familiar setting of the 20th century, but quickly launches into the realm of the fantastic. Stapledon envisions a future where our species has mastered genetic engineering, leading to the creation of new human species, each tailored to survive in harsh and challenging environments. As we move through the epochs in Stapledon's future history, we witness grand civilizations that rise to the architectural and artistic heights far beyond our current scope. Yet these achievements are tempered by catastrophic disasters, both natural and self-inflicted, challenging the very essence of human perseverance. In The Last and First Men, Stapledon uses the concept of future history to explore philosophical and ethical questions that resonate through time. What does it mean to be human? How do our achievements and failures ripple through the ages? The novel remains a seminal work in the genre, its influence echoing in the works of many science fiction writers who followed. It's a visionary piece that urges readers to contemplate the long-term destiny of humanity and the legacy we leave behind. Like a number of the future histories in my selection, The Last and First Men does not follow the traditional novel format with individual characters and dialogue. 
Instead, it's written as a narration that focuses on the grand sweep of humanity's evolution and the various societies that develop rather than on individual characters and their personal stories. Next, we have The Mars Trilogy by Kim Stanley Robinson. Published between 1992 and 1996, this trilogy takes us on a detailed journey of terraforming the Red Planet. The series starts with Red Mars, introducing us to the first colonists and the initial steps in transforming the inhospitable Martian environment. In Green Mars, we see the continuation of the terraforming process, with life beginning to take root and the settlers addressing the complex challenges of creating a new society. By the time we reach Blue Mars, Mars has been transformed into a world with rivers, oceans and a breathable atmosphere, completing the stunning transformation from a dead planet to a living one. Through the Mars trilogy, Robinson doesn't just focus on the technological marvels of terraforming, he delves deeply into the socio-political evolution that such a monumental endeavour entails. The trilogy is celebrated for its realistic portrayal of scientific endeavour, ecological transformation and the nuanced human dynamics that unfold. Robinson explores the political struggles for independence from Earth, the economic implications of new resources, and the ethical dilemmas of altering an entire planet. The series is a masterful blend of hard science fiction and social commentary, asking profound questions about governance, environmental stewardship, and what it means to be a multi-planetary species. Next, we have The Shape of Things to Come by H.G. Wells. Another grand sweeping narrative that focuses on events rather than individual characters, The Shape of Things to Come was first published in 1933 and gives us a speculative look at the future, projecting forward from Wells' own time to the end of the 21st century. Wells' imagination, renowned for its breadth and depth, constructs a detailed vision of the world as he believed it would become. The Shape of Things to Come is crafted as a history book written in the future, looking back on events that have not yet occurred. It explores a series of predictions and scenarios with an uncanny blend of imagination and logical extrapolation. Wells forecasts the turbulent developments of global politics, technology and society, including the outbreak of the Second World War, the rise of a world state, and the transformation of human life by scientific advances. Wells's predictions are rooted in the scientific knowledge and social theories of the time. He reflects deeply on the trends he observed in the world around him and projected those into the future, with a focus on the increasing role that technology and scientific management would play on human affairs. The Shape of Things to Come stands as an important work in the sci-fi genre, not just for visionary ideas, but for its perceptive insights into the human condition and the path of progress. It invites readers to consider how societal and technological developments can shape the trajectory of humanity's future. Next we have Instrumentality of Mankind by Cordwainer Smith. Cordwainer Smith's Instrumentality of Mankind series, with stories published from the 1950s through to the 1970s, takes us into a universe where humanity has reached the stars, but at a cost. The series is not a single novel, but a collection of short stories and a novel that together weave a complex tapestry of the future. Smith, with his rich background in political science, psychology and East Asian studies, infuses his work with a unique cultural depth. The instrumentality of mankind universe is one where humans have achieved incredible technological advancements, enabling them to spread across the stars and establish a vast network of worlds. However, these achievements bring with them profound ethical dilemmas and a loss of cultural identity that the instrumentality, which is the governing body, struggles to address. The stories are set over a vast period of time and often jump between different eras within Smith's universe, examining the evolving nature of society, the consequences of longevity, and the integration of alien life and artificial beings into human culture. Smith's stories stand out for their poetic language and the way they grapple with the question of what it means to be human in an increasingly complex galaxy. 
This visionary series remains a significant work in the canon of sci-fi and is a must-read in the future history subgenre, lauded for its imaginative breadth and its prescient exploration of issues that we continue to grapple with today. Lastly, but certainly not least, because there simply could not be a future history book list without it, we have Isaac Asimov's Foundation series. This seminal series, which began with Foundation, published in 1951, follows the monumental saga of the rise and fall of galactic empires, with subsequent volumes further expanding the narrative tapestry. Asimov continued to build this universe with Foundation and Empire in 1952, Second Foundation in 1953, and extended the series decades later with additional stories. Asimov introduces us to the concept of psychohistory, the science of predicting the future by mathematical analysis of historical trends and social behaviours on a large scale. This groundbreaking idea forms the backbone of the series, as Harry Seldon uses psychohistory to foresee and steer the future course of events to prevent the total collapse of civilization after the fall of the Galactic Empire. Foundation is not just a space opera, it's an intricate tapestry of individuals' lives shaping and being shaped by the tides of history. Asimov's narrative weaves together the stories of a diverse cast of characters, from mathematicians and emperors to traders and rebels. Each play a part in the unfolding drama of a society in flux, reflecting the complex interplay of personal ambition and collective destiny. This series is a cornerstone of science fiction literature, offering a grandiose yet methodical exploration of human social dynamics on a galactic scale. Asimov's work continues to resonate for its visionary approach to understanding the patterns of history and the potential directions of our future. Before we go, here are some quick honourable mentions that are also worth your time. Each of these series offers unique visions of humanity's place in the universe and the path we might take to get there, dipping into future history to greater and lesser degrees. The Revelation Space series by Alistair Reynolds, The Expanse series by James A. Corey, The Culture series by Ian M. Banks, Star Maker by Olaf Stapleton, and All Tomorrows by C. M. Kozman. These books are more than just stories, they're explorations of potential futures that await us. So which future will you dwell in? Let me know in the comments, as well as any other future histories we should check out. Until next time. Thanks so much for watching. If you're craving an extraordinary journey through realms unexplored, consider delving into universes directly out of my brain by checking out my sci-fi novels, Black Milk and Delphine Descends. You can find more details in the description. Thanks for your support.